Hey there, it's Chris Fifo, your Darwin Prales product representative. And today we're gonna to be propagating our new series of Budleyas called Budleya Chrysalis. I'm really excited about this one. It's gonna be a, one of our biggest launches of the year. So our box of cuttings arrived from Columbia this morning at 10.30 via our UPS driver. I know him, I have a good relationship. And so I know exactly when my cuttings are getting here and he takes good care of them for me. As I unpack my box here, I wanna check my temperature make sure I'm within spec, anything above 65 maybe I'd be a little bit concerned about or at least be more aware of the quality of my cuttings in here. As I pull out my bag of Budleya Chrysalis Blue here, neatly organized paper within the bag to absorb extra moisture. I don't see any condensation on the inside of the bag here, which is a good sign that these cuttings have maintained most of their moisture during shipping. But we still want to be aware, we have to inspect these. Budleas can be sensitive to spider mites. And so that's one thing we really want to check for when we open up the bags. We want to have one of our hand lenses available to be able to look at the underside of the leaves and make sure they're clean of spider mites. We're doing really good controlling our mites though. Another issue maybe with Budleas is they're a little bit of a leafy crop and so they can tend to be a little more wilty, but these seem to be really turgid. These should propagate really nicely, maybe a little bit small in my spec, but I think that's gonna give it a softer, more vigorous cutting and help this to take off even better. For propagating our Budleya, I've got my tray prepared here. I like a slightly higher pH, around 6.2 for Budleyas, and I prefer loose fill medias. I don't like LA plugs myself. They can be very compact. There can be less porosity in there, and some items can have a more difficult time rooting into an LA plug. I endorse uh, the use of rooting hormones on virtually everything, either whether it's a low rate or a higher rate. We've got a couple options. We can use the hormone number one, this would be 1,000 parts per million of IBA. This would be the traditional IBA um, dip where you tip the, the end of the cutting into the powder, shake off the last little bit, and then stick the cutting. A new way that growers are going towards is using the KIBA salts. These you can mix up in a hand sprayer or in a bucket and apply through a dosatron. Key point about mixing this up is make sure we use enough volume. We put this on after we stick the cuttings. It makes it a lot easy, more efficient in high volumes, but we wanna make sure we get it down to our target at the end of that cutting. After stick iron cuttings, I always wanna use pageant uh, fungicide. It helps reduce the stress in cuttings and can hasten the rooting. So sticking bud is, we want to make sure we don't have any premature budding on here. That's going to really greatly delay the rooting of these. I don't see any in these cuttings. These are nice strong cuttings. They're going to stick very easily. Main thing is, I don't want to go too deep on these. We can tend to rot those lower leaves if we stick them too deep. Also, we want our media to be not really saturated, but kind of a medium wet. I call it a four on the scale of one to five. I like the media to be about a four. That's going to ease the sticking. It's not going to be compacted. Here's our Budleya chrysalis after two weeks in propagation. We stuck the cuttings, we brought them into the prop house. Bottom heat, I like to see about 70 degrees Fahrenheit for a bottom heat for Budleya. Also a critical point for these is they must have long days. They're not really gonna take off well and grow properly under a short day photo period. So day extension, night interruption during the winter months. Key points about these in prop is, you'll hear this from me over and over, not too wet. We want to get the cuttings rehydrated, but then we want to dry it down and only apply as much mist as necessary to keep the cuttings from really wilting. And absolutely critical, avoid getting the media saturated. You'll hear me over and over say this, we lose more plants to the media being too wet than being too dry. So key points about these bubbly is then, I don't like to see fertilizer mist. Once again, low salts in our, in our uh, propagation water. And once they are rooted out, we can see how nicely these are coming around. These are ready for fertilizer now. Stick to a cow mag type fertilizer, give us nice toned growth. And I like to see one soft pinch on these before transplant. And that's really gonna give us some tremendous branching on this new Budleya series. <music> 